Northern Arizona is loaded with ruins and petroglyphs, and in this video we will take a look at three unique sites. Site 1 sits upon a hilltop and isn't any more than a few decrepit walls that border what used to possibly be four to six rooms. It's hard to tell if this site has ever been professionally excavated by archaeologists, but some of the rusted out cans and some of the old holes that have been dug, it's probably been looted by pot hunters. There are plenty of pottery shards laying around to look at, and one thing I noticed as we were leaving is what appeared to be a large wall that ran along part of the forest road about 10 feet from the ruin. It makes you wonder how much larger this site is or was. Site 2 overlooks the surrounding hills and mountains and is not far from Site 1. As far as rooms go, there are only a couple of very small walls and borders in tech, but most of these rooms are still buried in the dirt or have been weathered down to just rubble. There are a couple of logs in the area that are similar to what you see roof beams made from, but I have no way to confirm that for sure. What makes this site stand out is the abundance of shattered pottery shards. There are many shapes, sizes, textures, and quite a few have designs painted on them. One in particular stood out, and that was the white and black triangular shard that has a small hole drilled into it. Jewelry, perhaps? Site 3 is a few miles north of Site 2 and sits on top of a volcanic mound of rock. These ruins are definitely the best of the three and most likely better preserved due to the rock they were built around. It appears that there were at least five rooms, possibly more, within this complex. Each room appeared to have a different vantage point of the surrounding terrain. Due to the small size of the rooms and lack of party compared to the other rooms, you can only wonder what this site was used for. There are faint signs of petroglyphs on the rock and unlike the other sites, only a mild amount of pottery. 
shards. <laughs>